Hello, I'm Dr. Alan Lumsden, Chairman of Cardiovascular Surgery at the Methodist DeBakey Heart and Vascular Center in Houston, Texas. And this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about debranching for thoracic and abdominal aneurysms. Today I want to discuss with you a few of the developments in vascular surgery which permit a less invasive approach to some very complex aneurysms. An aneurysm, as you will hear elsewhere, is a swelling which occurs in a blood vessel. Here we're going to discuss two subgroups of aneurysms. The first group involves the arch of the aorta, where the blood vessels arise for your brain and arms. The arch of the aorta is high up in your chest, immediately behind the sternum or breastbone. The second group involves the aorta in the abdomen, where the blood vessels for the intestine, bowel and kidneys arise. This is called the visceral segment of the aorta. We're going to discuss what surgeons refer to as deep branching, followed by aortic endografting. Well, what does that mean? Let's start first with endografts, described in more detail in another podcast, but we will briefly describe endografts here. Endografts combine a metal scaffold, that's the stent, with a fabric covering. These can be inserted into the aorta via catheter and function to realign the aorta sealing off any bulges or the aneurysm from the inside. However, the only currently approved endografts are straight tubes. They have no branches. Therefore, in an aortic segment where there are critical branches, endografts cannot be employed unless the surgeon first reroutes or bypasses to any critical artery that arises from the aorta. This is the part that's called debranching. Debranching of the aortic arch may involve bypassing one, two, or all three blood vessels, which typically arise from the arch. Consequently, depending on the number of branches to be bypassed, this may involve simply making an incision in the neck, or if all three blood vessels are involved in the aneurysm, it may still be necessary to open the chest. When the aneurysm involves the visceral abdominal aorta, the abdomen has to be entered to perform the bypass grafts. Now once the bypass grafts have been placed, then the straight tube endograft can be inserted into the aorta, covering up the origins of the branches. These branches now continue to receive blood via the bypass grafts previously inserted. These remain large operations, so why bother? Why not simply do the conventional open repair of the aorta? The answer is that in some patients are probably better served by the conventional open operation. However, whether this performs in the aortic arch or in the visceral segment of the aorta, these are huge operations. Some patients just have too many risk factors to even contemplate performing this kind of big open surgery. Debranching and endografting in most cases allows the vascular surgeon to avoid having to clamp off the aorta a maneuver that shuts off blood to everything downstream and puts stress on the heart. It is in this particular setting that debranching, followed by endografting, should be considered. This briefing is made possible through a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about your vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.